was all that was so sudden. I, I forgot to click one thing in OBS and then it automatically started. Well that's something. Alrighty, now where the heck is the stream from my end of things? I need to find it. But yeah, I, I I forgot to click a thing in OBS and it just started automatically and it's like, oh well I guess I'm live now. So that's something. Okay. It is not appearing on my Chanel yet. <sighs> okay, now it's appearing on my Chanel. Oh, my thumbnail looks so nice. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I'm so proud of how the thumbnail turned out. I, I love working with mixed media. <sighs> Alrighty. So, we are now live. I see myself in... In the studio, as it were. I can see myself on my Chanel. Um, yeah. Crazy how these kinds of things work out. Alrighty, so now I have to do the painful part of sharing this thing on social media. Kind of a pain in the butt. But, you know, we do what we gotta do in this day and age. Yeah! Let's see, where else can I... Gotta do it on the blue sky. I think the social media part is the hardest part just because it is so annoying because you have to have like you basically have to have an account on everything lately it's such a pain and I'm not sure how the music is coming out I'm not sure if I'm louder than I'm sure I need to lower the music for a hot second just so I can think a little bit more clearly okay let's see I'm getting a warning that the bit rate is lower than recommended. Okay, now it's saying it's good. Okay, that's odd. <sighs> technology. Crazy, crazy technology. But what can we do? We are reliant on it. It's absolutely nuts. Although today's theme for me seems to be just technological hullabaloo it's it's very unfortunate exactly what says hi hi i hope the audio sounds okay i lowered the music a little bit because i couldn't hear myself think because i was like okay it's the social media part that's the hard part where do i share stuff what do yeah it's kind of a pain in the butt That's the, that's the few places that I could think about posting stuff. I suppose I could put... Maybe I'll post the full thumbnail in, in the community tab. I'm so glad that those are open to the public now. They're so nice. 
Although they sometimes risk making YouTube full of spam. I have come across some spam posts before in the community section, but eh, you know. A lot of things are prone to crapification. I'll do the full thumbnail later. It's so nice. I just want to show it off to the world. I'm so proud of it. Leah, well, yeah. welcome everybody. I lowered the music a bit. I could put it up again, but I don't know if it's... I, I, I couldn't tell if it was like at a good volume before. So I'll put it up a little bit and I'd love to get some feedback. Because, uh, fun fact, the game that I am playing today does not really have any music. It does have nice ambient noise, though. So the ambient noise was nice. But it's like, huh. If I'm gonna be running a supermarket, I want music. Because, yeah. We're playing Supermarket Simulator, or at least the prologue for the game. Because um, something I like to do is that I like to just look through Steam and try to find free games or demos of games. Um, but sometimes... You'll find a demo that's disguised as, like, its own game. And it's usually, like, the free version or, like, the prologue or the episode one or the episode zero or whatever. Like, the prelude to whatever the full game is. And it's like, okay, well, you know, it's a demo that's not dressed up as a demo. But it's effectively a demo. So, yeah. I was, I was like, wanting to play it. Because, like, I love management sims. I love business sims. Uh, and the full game just came out, but it's still in early access, so it still needs time to cook. Um, but yeah, there was a prologue, or like a free version, so I was like, huh, maybe I should try it, I should play it. And, uh, yeah. I will proceed to cause chaos. Because chaos is fun. So, uh, yeah. I already got started a little bit just to get the game settings down. So, uh, you are going to see my shop somewhat full, but not by too much. Alright, magic mirror, vanish. And yeah! We're gonna run a supermarket. But also, like, um... Because in the full version of the game, they want to make a town that's, like, more of a town that's more bustling. Uh, we're trapped here. We're trapped in this little intersection. <laughs> but yeah, just one end of the road and another end of the road. And then I discovered that I could jump. So we could do parkour among the brownstones. Isn't that nice? You know these apartments probably cost like two, like 2,000 or like 2,500 a pop. That's very unfortunate. I wonder how big these places are on the inside. But that's enough depressing stuff. Let me show you our wonderful shop. We have a nice little neon sign that we click on to open or close the shop. And I have two shelves that I've already stacked full of bread and eggs. Although I do find it weird that the eggs in this game, they don't require refrigeration. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they don't require refrigeration, but hey. I didn't program this, so I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Galactic Cuisine says that's a fuck ton of bread. Yes! I mean, I serve a very select clientele. I serve a clientele that loves breakfast. And you know, what's more breakfast than bread and eggs? That's very breakfast if you ask me. Although that does remind me, I have someone else that I have to share the stream with. Now that that's settled, back to making people buy my bread and eggs that, for some reason, don't require refrigeration. So the robot says, and a seemingly very small supermarket. Yeah! This is like a little bodega like you would see in New York. It's very small. It's very quaint. Well, I don't like the placement of the cash register, but I can't move it. Because you can move the shelves. You just hold it. I can move it wherever I want. I can't move the cash register. Because if I click it... 
Okay, well, if I click it during, like, opening, like, open hours, then, like, like, you know, you're at checkout duty. But, yeah, I can't do that right now, because the store isn't open. Well, why don't we open the store? Here's to our humble beginnings as a little bodega that sells bread and eggs. Why is he paying for, like, five bucks worth of eggs with a $50 bill? That's the other crazy thing about this game. People will pay for very cheap groceries with ludicrous amounts of money. Like, look at this. A hundred dollars. For seven dollars worth of food. What the hell? like the size of a gas station without the gas again there's like a little bodega in the middle of New York it's very quaint it's very nice I love when I don't have to make change Go, to our, go over to our computer real quick, see what else I can buy. I can't really buy the, buy much. I can't stock our shelves with anything other than bread and eggs. We already have plenty. I made sure to stock up so that no, that way no one goes hungry for breakfast. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm getting the same warning. Stream's current bitrate is lower than the recommended bitrate. Let me close a couple tabs. Not that I had that many tabs open to begin with, but could help. Maybe it's just my internet being weird. Maybe my internet provider is being spiteful. It's like, huh, she criticized us. And then, they're lo and then they're slowing down my speed as a result. That's very cruel of them. But yeah, we're a very small store. There's not much, but in time it'll grow. I throw what's saying super in quotes market yeah it's not very super at the moment but again we'll grow in time there's got to be a lot of people in this little isolated part of society that love bread and eggs Well, I will say, I wish you started out with the fridge. Like, no. You don't start out with the fridge. You have to buy a fridge later on. I'm surprised I'm able to play this game, like, without getting a headache or anything. I can even go fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, there goes a person that goes in our, that's going to our shop. But yeah, I love, like, it's just a closed-off little, like, section of road. So it's like, huh. 
He's, this, this is literally like the only grocery store these people have. Unless they're like flying and just dropping in from the sky. Hope those eggs are still good enough to eat. I mean, the game says you can just put them on the rack, no problem. I would prefer them in a fridge, but it's not giving me the option. Or maybe the store is just like at refrigerator temperature for the eggs to survive. Maybe, but then it'd be illegal to have the door open in that case. Because you can't have air conditioning on full blast and have the air condition- And have the door open, I mean. Ugh, I can't talk. But yeah, like th that's literally illegal like to have the AC on and then to have the doors like wide open. You have to close them. Because you can get fined for that. But yeah. But yeah, this feels so much like New York. One of, like, the better neighborhoods in New York. But yeah. I like that little map. Sure, you can't really escape except by helicopter. And there's nothing really to do. There's a hotel here, but, you know, you gotta drop in from the sky to go there. So it costs a lot, just by transportation alone. And you know, this storage closed down recently, it just hasn't been the same since. And then you have this place that seems to never be open. And that lady just spawned in. It's like they're up in New York without the busy streets and the huge buildings. It has huge buildings. It's just one street with no cars and nobody on it. Except for the occasional people that spawn in to shop at my store. Alright, people are buying a fair amount of bread and eggs. But huge buildings are referring to the towers and skyscrapers. I mean, there could be some of those off in the distance, but we can't see those from where we are in our little cul-de-sac that's just blocked off from the rest of society. They always look down, like, after they give me the money, it's like, oh, I spent my monies. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look outside, it's getting dark. The street lamps are on, and look at that nice sky. It's so quiet on these streets. And then down here... In the full version, I guess this would be a storage room that we could put all our stock in. But we don't have that. Because this is just the prologue version. Am I coming in okay otherwise, or...? And there goes the cat trying to make trouble. And there goes the cat with epic zoomies.
Lovely. So dark. But it does kind of capture the realism of the city, too, and I always appreciate that. And now we gotta start paying rent for the place. So how you manage all your bills and stuff is you go to the computer, you go under management, you go to bills. Oh, it says all bills are paid. Nice. Um, but we can't afford to buy anything. <laughs> ah, Adam Barber, hi! You're out of bread on throne. I bought it all. I need to make dinner with all this bread I have now purchased. I actually need to buy bread myself. Now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, scusi. Hmm, let's see. We could expand beyond bread and go into pasta. You know, because it is another wheat product. But also, you can't have you can't have too much bread. I mean, bread is very nice. <laughs> Become Olive Garden! <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that. Oil and pasta, uh... I mean, oil's pretty expensive. Oil's expensive. Pasta's a lot cheaper. I mean, could theoretically do pasta. Um, because right now cereal, uh, oil, and flour are kind of expensive. I could theoretically afford the flour. <laughs> You're not gonna make this stuff so like nothing but bread. <laughs> Unless I have a very dedicated clientele of rich women from the suburbs. Then I can make my store succeed just selling bread. Let's see, I have I have bread. Uh I could order another thing of eggs. Uh, no, that's, that's, mm, I just got eggs last night. But, no, I'd rather order two of everything. <laughs> Seth the Robot saying, move over, move, move over, Olive Garden, Sam's bread castle is where it's at. <laughs> hmm, Sam's bread castle. I don't really know about that, you can't really make a castle out of bread. See. Well, I can order two things of pasta for the same, for about, uh, about the same price as the flour, so maybe I'll do that. I'll expand into pasta. I'm not a woman, but I do enjoy me some, some fresh bread, especially Ar Arabic pita bread. I've never had that before. Did I put the... Hmm. This game is just worsening my OCD when it comes to sorting things. And I don't like how it makes me feel. Scusi. Naming a store slash restaurant is hard. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. It's okay. I don't know what I'd want to name the store either. Because, um... Again, this is just the, the free version of the game. The, you know, the so-called prologue. So the store is just called Super Prologue. And I'm not sure how to, like, how to rename it or anything. If you could even do that in the full version of the game. And there goes the cat, but I don't know where she is. I can't see her. Oh, hi! You wanna buy some bread? You wanna buy some bread? You know, you just wanna meow and look at me all confused? Okay. That is also fine. I respect your decisions as a cat. My fairy lover 31 saying, Oh, CD, I hear you, sister. Yeah, like, the thing about me, I love management games, I love business simulations, because I get really invested in them, and I make up stories in my head about them, and it's like, huh, 
if I had the money in real life, I would be that idiot that comes up with like 10 million different businesses. But I don't have that kind of money. So yeah, I can't do it in real life, so I can only ever do it in games. Oh yeah, I thought I ordered more, but yeah, I was just imagining things that I also have $6.34 to my name. Okay, let's... Oh yeah, I gotta price the pasta, actually. Um, market price is four seventeen. Let's charge like four bucks a bag. So that way we can still make a profit. Because we do desperately need the monies. Bread is still a fair price. The eggs are fair. Okay. And I'm trying to get the cat on my lap, but no, she just keeps like looking at me very confused. Like, hi! I want to socialize, but I am very shy and scared. It's like, you have no reason to be scared, cat. Silly. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Adam, we're asking so Sam's broadcast will be the first venture. No. No. I wouldn't sell just bread in real life. Besides, I can't bake bread yet. Like, I've tried. I've tried making keto bread, but it, it didn't turn out very good because it's not actual bread. It's just a disturbing amount of eggs and cream cheese. <laughs> but you want to. Not just bread, though! <laughs> I couldn't do just bread. I don't know how to make bread. I think your cat is figuring out the game you're playing. She's like debating coming to hang out with me and then just looking all cute to the side like a little emo kid. It's very cute. But also it's like, please make up your mind so that we could hang out or not. Up to you, cat. Get a bread maker. Ah, uh, I mean, that could theoretically help me save money on bread if I get a bread maker and just learn how to make my own bread. Um, theoretically. But I don't know. I don't know if I would, like, make bread enough to justify having a bread maker. Because sometimes it's not just the cost of the machine itself. Sometimes it's just like, okay, well, where do I store it now that I own it? Ah, uh, yeah. And then I made, uh, like, keto cloud bread, which is basically just a one-to-one -one ratio of an ounce of cream cheese and one egg. It got very weird and gross after a while. But surprisingly it makes decent croutons, like very keto-friendly croutons if you're a salad person and you like croutons, but you want to be on the keto diet. I miss when my mama used to make fresh bread. I was in heaven, but it's a process, so I don't blame her. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. It's a process to bake anything from scratch. Like, I've baked cakes and, like, pies and stuff from scratch, and that's one thing. But then, like, bread. Like, that's a very base food. Goes with everything. But also, it involves yeast, and anything with yeast in it automatically gets a little bit more complicated. And then... I've tried making bread without yeast, though. However... The photos on the website where I found the recipe lied. It lied so freaking bad. It's just like, man, I just wanted to eat some bread. But no, the photos lied to me. Because the photos were of like, you know, what you think of when you think of bread. Very fluffy, very nice and all that. But it's like, you can make this kind of bread without yeast. And I'm like, cool, I don't have any yeast. And also, I don't know how to work with yeast. So I'm down to make some bread without any yeast in it. And uh, it did not turn out that way at all. Although it's been so long ago, I forgot how it turned out, but it did not turn out like the picture. Let's go see. I'm very hiccupy tonight. I've been dealing with, like, uh, I was gonna say pest control for a hot second. No, it's not pest control day. I was dealing with tech support all day today. And having to think of some very tough decisions that I might have to make. They're like, my brain is partially scrambled, so it's like, I, I need to stream. I need to do something fun. But I think because I've been, like, doing tech support stuff all day, I think my ISP is 
fucking with me. Maybe that's why the bitrate is, like, lower than suggested. Because I keep getting the warning on YouTube. Um, and even OBS seems a little bit choppier than normal. There could also be just the game when it's running. Oh, hi! You ready to join us now, or...? You just want to keep looking at me with your big, cute little eyes. Cat! Cat! Come here. Come here. Aunt, no, she does I don't think the cat wants to join us tonight. I think the cat's just being... a cat. <laughs> Decisive as it seems. Yeah, that's that's just cats in a nutshell. Cats are weird, but we love them. Oh yeah, I should see how much people are buying. Okay. I still have eggs. I have one bag of pasta left. Four loaves of bread I could put. Has anyone? Oh, yeah. People have bought bread. Okay. I still find it crazy. People pay for, like, the cheapest stuff with, like, $100 bills. It's like, come on, man. At that point, why? Like, no store in real life would tolerate that. Like, they would think it's suspicious or something. Because, like, a lot of stores don't accept anything higher than a 50 in a lot of cases. Gotta break it down. For that, you just go to the bank! If you want to break it down, you go to the bank, or sometimes, like, say if the bank is closed, you can go to a diner. Like, a regular-ass diner. And sometimes they will have enough change on hand to break a hundred. I guess they got to other supermarkets where the total prices for food are the hundreds. I mean, funny enough, that's kind of video game logic when you really think about it, because, like, what's the gold to dollar ratio for a lot of things? I think about that every now and again, because, um... Once upon a time, a super long time ago, I was talking with someone about Stardew Valley. And, like, lore-wise, the town in Stardew Valley isn't doing too well economically, economically speaking. And yet, you put stuff in the box to ship it out at night. And then, you can basically just get rich overnight, so like, where's the money coming from? Like, this town is either bankrupting itself and just living off of debt. Or the money's gotta be coming from somewhere, it's probably Mayor Lewis. Mary Lewis is probably up to some money laundering stuff. But yeah. But yeah, my lovely shop for bread and eggs. Uh, well, Adam Barber asking if the cat needs anything. Um, I refilled the cat litter recently. Could probably... I should probably get more cat litter at some point. Um, she has plenty of food. She has plenty of toys. She has plenty of affection, but she doesn't want to give any of it to me. So she's just being a cat. Basically. Oh, and it's disconnected. The heck? Let me pause the PC for a second. That was weird as hell. Huh, that was weird. I had to pause the music for a second because like, I've never had that happen before. 
But yeah, it's like, it's been dropping frames for some reason, and I'm not sure why. It could just be my internet. Again, it could be just like, you know, I talk to the big, mean, old ISP, the internet provider, just like, hey, my bill's too damn high. <laughs> and maybe they're just being spiteful. Because after dealing with my actual provider, I actually went to their competitor, and I talked to one of their competitors, It's like, hey, my ISP's being mean to me. Can you offer me a better rate? And I got, like, the best customer service lady ever. She was so nice. She was so sympathetic. She understood my struggle. And I was like, oh my god, this is like the customer service person from heaven. And she was so nice. And I think she could have signed me up today. But then she walked me through the process of like, okay, well, if you drop your current provider and switch to us, we could do this, that, the other for you. But you're going to need to have to talk to your current provider and then arrange things. And I told her, like, I mean, that's all well and good, and I appreciate the assistance. Um, but basically, I need to see if I'm under a contract with my current provider. And then I have to see about terminating whatever I have with them and then get the new provider. But the most important thing is that I don't want to be without internet. Because if I'm without internet, that I can't do school. I can't talk to my friends. I can do Discord on mobile. But mobile Discord is kind of crap when it comes to voice stuff. And just so much is on the computer that you kind of got to have internet on your computer. And I'm not sure if I can, like, make my phone a hotspot to act as temporary Wi-Fi for a while. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt. But maybe the reasons I'm having issues this time is be it's, you know, conspiracy tinfoil hat theories. Like, maybe my ISP is on to me. Maybe they know I want to switch providers. <laughs> So yeah, that's that's kind of a pain. But it's like, man, I even if I do switch providers, I don't want to stop streaming. I don't want them to I don't want to like risk not having internet in general and risk like my speed being lowered to where streaming is impossible. But uh yeah, that's 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 a pain. That's a pain in the butt. And yeah. yeah so yeah, I stopped the music. I can put the music back on. And Kat is looking up at me again. But yeah, so... I still have the warning on... On the... You know, on YouTube's end, where it's like, the, the bitrate is lower than the recommended bitrate. But OBS seems fine. Wait, I've never had this happen before. That is super fucking weird. That is really weird. Yeah. But I mean, hey, there's a first time for a lot of things. Not necessarily everything, but a lot of things. Alrighty, so I'll put the music back on. And OBS popped back open again. And back to selling bread and eggs. <laughs> Alright, and we have a fair amount of money. We could theoretically get a fridge, but I'd rather build up some more money from the dry goods than getting a fridge immediately. So let's get some more eggs. Let's definitely get some more bread. And we can afford a little bit of pasta. I feel like three bags of pasta. No, that's too much. Oh, shit. Okay, they, they closed. Well, I guess I can't, I guess I can't order for now. Alrighty, we could finish the day. We definitely need more eggs. We have a fair amount of bread, but you know, we can never run out of bread. And I fear you love it. They're fine asking, shouldn't the eggs be refrigerated? I know, right? I hate that they don't require refrigeration. But, um, fun fact. <laughs> so, fun fact about eggs. Um, you can actually sell eggs, like, without refrigeration, but I think you need a go through a process in order to be licensed to do that. And then the eggs you find in the fridge, 
like in the freezer, I, like not in the freezer, I, but like, you know, in the refrigerated section of the grocery store, those eggs also went through a process that makes them require refrigeration. I think it has something to do with like the eggs, like natural shell. Like there's like some kind of barrier on the shell that makes it safe to have at room temperature. But I think if you get rid of that, then you have to refrigerate them. So yeah, it's weird. I read it in a book once. I forgot the name of the book though. Um, on second, I might be able to find the book if I looked hard enough. So yeah, I know, but it, it annoys me too. It's just, I want to put them in the refrigerator, but I can't because the game says you got to put them on a rack. And I can't stand it. It just messes with me so much. It's like, I, I just... Fridge, please. It's gonna give people food poisoning. We definitely need more eggs. The eggs that defy the laws of temperature. Yeah! Like, the anti-food poisoning eggs. Well, oil got more expensive. Um, hmm. Well, I could afford that. Oh, wait. No, I can't. She. Oh, I didn't realize I accidentally added more eggs than I meant to. Okay. Now let's see how much flour I can add. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking. Stupid inflation. Hell yeah, stupid inflation. Oh yeah, if you order enough stuff, it just kind of like falls on the floor like this. It's kind of comical. I once had like a tower just stacked up all the way up to here, and then I just watched it topple to the ground and onto the road. But yeah, food inflation is so bad. But then it's also not just the price of the food, it's also the size of the food. Like, I, I got Wendy's today, and the chicken nuggets were, like, quarter-sized. That's how small they got. It's like, god damn it. If I wasn't getting this so I could just go out and not have to worry about food, like, I, I wouldn't order this, because like, it's the size of a quarter. It's the size of a quarter. And it's ridiculous. We have plenty of eggs. We're actually gonna run out of room for the eggs. So hopefully people buy some of our eggs. And you know, we can never have too much bread. We have one loaf left. Maybe that'll be my snack for later. <laughs> and then this is the flower. What I love doing is that I like making like the aisles themed. So what I would love to do is just have this be like, you know, bread, maybe some sugar, flour, maybe some yeast up at the top. But yeah, this is the free version. So I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to get in terms of product variety. The full game seems to have a little bit more product variety. Um, but there's the full version, so... Th this is not the full version, so I, I wouldn't know. Huh. Hold on a half second. No, because I noticed, like, the music keeps, like, popping in and out, so... Huh. It's really freaking weird. That is really weird. I've never had this happen before. But yeah, so like, if I minimize the game, OBS seems to be fine. The music didn't give me a problem when... Uh, maybe it's the game. Maybe the game is just a little bit too powerful. Maybe it's the game is a bit too much of a big boy for OBS. Like, it's functioning. It's still running. Maybe it's just a little too powerful, though. Who knows? Like, I know there, there are some games that I could theoretically stream them or record them. But I, I know that uh, it, it might kill the computer. <laughs> like, you will never be able to see me play RimWorld live or recorded because that game makes the computer hum. And as much as I love RimWorld, I'm not gonna 
torture the computer by making it try to record RimWorld. Because that game makes the computer hum, and it's... It's a bit- it's a bit of a chunky boy, especially if you mod RimWorld like crazy, like I do. But yeah. Alrighty. So... Music's good for like 20 more minutes or so. So then after the- the song on loop is over, I will take a small break. Okay- oh yeah, I ran out of stuff to put on shelves. Okay! And now we're open! See how many people buy our bread eggs, and now we have flour. We have ingredients so people can make their own bread. Oh yeah, I gotta price the flour. Um, we could price it at maybe six seventy-five. That seems to be a fair price. Oh, and immediately he's going for flour. Nice. Let's go see. Thank you, have a nice day. Dude almost cleared me out of flour. Like at least on that shelf, wow. Surprised she didn't buy any bread. Eh, but to each their own. Maybe she's just more of a plain scrambled egg person. <laughs> Must have some big baking pans. Yeah, I mean, flour is very versatile. You can do a lot with flour. Yeah, like the music's like popping in and out, at least on my end. That's weird. And I think I'm going to be rapidly out of flour. Yeah, I have six bags of flour left. We are running out of flour. I could. Oh! Okay, I'm just. <laughs> I bumped into things. I thought I was stuck. Let's go see. Okay, gotta get more flour. Yeah, the flower apparently seems to be a big hit. Oh, cereal went down in price. We can wait on cereal. We restock. I face right through that guy. <laughs> okay, well now you can tell that this isn't actually New York, because if I had bumped into that guy, he would complain about it. No, he was very gentlemanly. I just went right through him and he didn't even complain. Well, I gotta go. Mom wants pizza, and I'm going. So I'm going to the good place. I'll be lurking. Well, I go get the goods, uh, uh, which is a bread byproduct. <laughs> oh yeah, pizza's good. Oh, hmm. Maybe I can make like some French bread pizza for dinner. Actually, I think I still have a baguette in the fridge. Ah, thank you for the idea. And also, I hope the za you get is good. Oh, she bought a loaf of bread. Only the one, though. She didn't fill her bag ludicrously full of bread. <laughs> Galactic cuisine, white woman buying bread! <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. Sound off the mer alarm. Oh, yeah, the music is starting to cut out big time. That's really freaking weird. <laughs> I actually, uh, actually linked Mur the stream. I don't know if he's like watching and just kind of lurking or if he's just watching it all. But yeah. I, I told Mur about this game. He, he messaged me. He was like, oh, just hi, how you doing? Um, and all that. And I was like, Mur! So there's this game on Steam! And and Murr doesn't have Steam, unfortunately. But I was like, Murr, there's this game on Steam! <laughs> About running a supermarket! And behold! <laughs> the white women are buying bread! So I think you got a kick out of that. I mean, I did say it was a good place, handmade and tossed. Nice! But yeah, so I think... Having the music go on in the background was making it things even even choppier, so I think I'm just gonna have no music for the rest of the Listrum and just see how things go. You know, just in case. I don't want to make anything explode. But yeah. Like, pizza's so nice. Pizza's like one of those foods that get everybody together. Wait, how much of what do I have? Uh, I have plenty of eggs still. I have plenty of bread. But then again, I can never have too much bread. And a fair amount of flour, so I could try to save up for a fridge. But then again, cereal went down in price. Hmm. The trials of being a business owner. Oh, I gotta turn on a light. Sorry if you had to shop in the dark for a hot second, miss. Let's go see. Hmm, we have plenty of bread. This guy got a fair amount of bread. Thank you and have a nice night! What are two more things of flour? Welcome back, miss! Yeah, all the NPCs just kind of become identical after a while. I'm not sure how much variation there is. Uh, but yeah. Although they remind me so much of, like, modded, like, hair options in The Sims 3. It's just the vibe I get. A letter finish. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, you're twins, I see! Thank you both. Have a nice night. And thank you too. Have a nice night. <laughs> or they're multiplying. I mean, they could be. Oh, and there's one more lady, so. Hold on. Parkour! <laughs> okay, I got that out of my system. I'll save the parkour for the daytime. Oh yeah, we're we don't have enough bread on that side, and that side's running through. Okay, we got we'll we'll order more bread when the sun comes up. Okay. Oh, bread's going up in price. God damn it! Okay. I uh, and I almost re I almost reached the window. I can't see anything inside, though. That's unfortunate. 
Yeah. Well, I was preparing for Listrem. I was just jumping on things. It's like, oh wait, I have a jump button. I didn't realize I had a jump button. So that's that's fun. Oh yeah, like looking at the world from a new height. Is this what it's like being tall? I've never been tall before. I mean, like, it's also such a cute little space. I mean. The stairs being that close to like a tiny little sliver of floor seems like a tripping hazard, but eh, you know, I'm not the architect, unfortunately. And the screwy thing about architecture is that like you spend more time in school than you do actually building things. And that really sucks. Oh, I it actually it's cheaper. It's cheaper to buy bread. You can buy so much more bread. <laughs> And, let's see, oil's still kind of expensive. Um, cereal went down a little bit. Uh, how much eggs do we have? Okay, we still have a fair amount of eggs. <laughs> Meanwhile, in I am bread. <laughs> Thank goodness we need bread, just like we needed that milk. <laughs> Yeah. Although, like... Okay, so... Hmm. Because a, a fridge is 125. If I get the fridge, I'm not going to have much left. But then I'm going to have a fair amount of... of stuff to sell. So I could make that money back relatively quick, I think. But then I'm not going to have enough to order milk if I get the fridge. Hmm... The trials of- oh wait, I can't even buy milk now, I gotta unlock a thi oh, I've been forgetting to pay my bills. Oops! <laughs> that was- that was bad. That was bad. Don't be like me, don't forget to pay your bills. That was- that was horrible of me. That was a giant whoopsie on my part, I didn't realize I wasn't paying my bills. Um, cause the thing about, um... <laughs> The thing about this game, the Steam description, like the little blurb under like the, the cover image for the game was says hold on, let me find it actually. So on the Steam store page, you know, supermarket simulator or prologue, uh start running your own supermarket uh with prologue already. Stock shelves, handle cashier tests. Process online orders, design, and expand. Set the prices based on the market. Be prepared to face the consequences if you fail to make the nightly repayment to the gangs. It's like, huh, so this is actually, like, they, they're, they're trying to have a story, as well as being a good simulation game. That's interesting. So, uh, yeah. I wonder if we'll see any excitement. Are we gonna have any Yakuza just, like, coming our way, just like, hey, pay your bills? Yeah. Alright, so now I definitely don't have enough to buy a fridge, or the little starter pack to allow us to buy milk in the first place. So yeah, that's kind of where we are right now, because I forgot to pay my bills. My fury lover asked, like, why, does, why must games get so real? I don't know. You know what's the most unrealistic part about this game so far, though? The rent is only $10. You know how much of a steal $10 is for rent? And this is a pretty decent little store we've got going on. $10 a day for this for this place? That that's that's cheap. You know how much retail space costs to rent? But anyway, we can order four things of bread. Um Maybe we can order cereal. Um, we'd only be able to afford like one box of cereal though. I have to pay over a thousand for my place. Honestly, I would take a thousand dollar rent. I, I would take a thousand dollar rent. No doubt about it, I would take that. Cause uh, rent is expensive. It sucks out here. Yeah, look how high the stack can go. So yeah, we have little little bear cereal. Oh, 
Oh, wait a second. I wanted to... I'll put this on the floor so that way I can make room for more bread up top. Because, you know, we can never have enough bread. I'll just, I'll just leave this box in a corner. Why, why can't I put it down? Okay, that's, that's that's really fucking weird. Is the Okay, that was weird. Okay, that, maybe that's my sign to throw out the box. <laughs> he wants you to throw it away. Yeah. He did not want to risk becoming a house for a cat. I don't know, something about restocking the shelves is very relaxing. But again, it's just, it could also just be OCD just being like, yes, put stuff on shelf, make it look nice. Like, yeah, look at all this bread. It's awesome. Uh, is everything still, okay, everything's still relatively fair price. That would allow us to stay afloat. We need to price the cereal. Average box. We'll make an average box here. Four bucks. Has to be fair. The eggs. Okay. Eggs are fair. Do you eventually want to get more shelves? Yeah. We're going to need more shelves and a fridge. I wish, like, you had started with, like, a little fridge, though. Like, even if it's just a small one. Or, like, a little rinky-dink mini fridge. That would be very helpful. But, uh, no. We don't have that. But yeah, we'll eventually get more shelves and fridges and all the nice stuff. We will be a successful supermarket. <laughs> what you need is more bread. <laughs> Yay. You can never have too much bread. Well, that reminds me, I remember, um... I was at a grocery store. For a while, they did not have bread. And then... The next time I went there, they had, like, floor to top shelf. I was gonna say ceiling, but the shelf didn't reach the ceiling. They had floor to top shelf Wonder Bread. It was hilarious. And so badly, I just wanted to rush home, change into a nice dress, get a shopping cart, and then just, like, put as much bread as possible in the shopping cart. But I didn't have anybody to take the picture with me. So, yeah. <laughs> he got bread. Yeah, have a nice day. Thank you for buying bread! Hello, mister. Please buy some bread. Okay, he's buying flour. Cleared out half the shelf for He's making his own bread. That is permitted. She is buying bread. Thank you for buying bread. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you for buying bread. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, I don't think the the credit card reader is uh, available in the in the free version. Cuz I think later on you get a credit card reader. Well, I think he went for eggs. He got some flour. He's making his own bread. <laughs> Meanwhile on Sesame Street, today's word of the day is bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
well, yeah, some people said this wouldn't be a reliable business model. They told me, Sam, no one's going to buy that much bread. It'll all turn moldy. You'll be wasting product and money. No one's going to buy that much bread. And lo and behold, people are buying my bread. And they said running a store that sold primarily bread was a bad idea. And now I just laugh at them. That was a great ammo. Thank you! <coughs> I like short. Sorry, sir. I'll bring you up. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I'll bring you up for your bread in a second. Oh, and there come the ambulance for me. They heard me joking. Bless you. Thank you. I was so dead. I gave too much change. <laughs> Unclog it with bread, it needs more bread. <laughs> We need to see what we gotta restock up. <coughs> oh god, that was horrible. Okay, we still have a. <coughs> uh. Enough, just gonna keep coughing. God damn it! Okay, we're reaching like 200 bucks. We could possibly buy a fridge. I think we're gonna need more flour though. People really seem to like the flour as well. <coughs> oh, scusi. Okay, I think I got the air out of my system. I think I'm better now. Oh, that's too much. Uh... Thank you for buying bread! Why did you pay for a 210 loaf of bread for the 100? You know how inconvenient that makes it for me? You think I wanna- Oh, got it. Too much money. New store name, Bread Paradise. <laughs> huh. I'm trying to think of like another word that starts with a B. Uh I can't I can't think of one. Like the the bread barrage. Uh uh. Yeah, I can't think of anything. But like realistically I wouldn't have a business that just sells bread. That'd be crazy to do in real life. Bodacious breads. That sounds like a parody of Panera Bread. I mean, considering that they have lemonade that kills you, I, I feel like I'm doing pretty well for myself because my eggs haven't killed anybody yet. Bread Boutique. Oh, that sounds nice! You can have, like, artisan bread. Too much money. Uh, still too much. Okay. A 
get? Why are these people paying in hundreds? <sighs> well, I mean, this little neighborhood is so secluded. They probably make enough money to pay in hundreds pretty easily. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Oh boy. I can't believe I choked. <laughs> Pay him back in singles. What if I pay them back in pennies? <laughs> well, that would take forever to count, though. Pay them back with bread. <laughs> Not everything can be bread! <laughs> what have I done? I have created monsters. I have created monsters obsessed with bread. Okay, I feel like if... I think, hold on, let's see. We still have a load of bread left, but we need flour, and we could... I think we still have plenty of eggs, too. Um, we could get flour. And... Hold on, what else could we get? Like, oil went up a lot, like, damn. Um... Pasta's still relatively cheap. We could get ourselves some pasta. And we're gonna need- Oh yeah, I gotta pay my bills. Oh. I keep pressing escape and walking away from the computer when I mean to just go to a different screen. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm content with this. Get how high it goes. Let's see if I, I got it to move a little bit. <laughs> J nice. <laughs> we live in a society of bread. Oh God, what have I done? I have infected everybody with bread. And now they just have bread on the brains. Now everything to them is bread. I have created monsters. Monsters obsessed with bread. Well, at least I have plenty of bread to feed you all. We'll keep that there. Gotta put the flower on the shelf. <laughs> what if I rob the store? Gary, no. Bad. Bad. That's not good. You can't rob the store. Like, I wonder how, like, deep this game will go in terms of, like, supermarket simulation, because, like, a real-life supermarket would have, like, loyalty store cards, like, like, loyalty cards, like, for that store, or, like, they'll have sales, like, oh, you can get two for one, or, um, or you can get, like, three for five, like, that kind of thing. So I wonder how in-depth they'll go with, uh, the simulation later on, because the full game is still in early access, it's still got time to cook, um... And there's only so much I can do in the in the prologue. But it's still interesting to think about. Because, again, I just love in-depth business simulation. Like, if it can teach me how the actual business works. And if it can be educational but also fun. That just makes it a great simulation game. And that'll just have me play your game for hours and hours and hours. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And I fear you'll ever asking, what if you don't restock the bread? Well, then we're going to be out of bread, and this could be very unfortunate. <laughs> oh, Gary's asking, can I, get a can I get a loyalty card? I'm loyal if I keep robbing this specific sort. No, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. 
Thank you for buying bread. Have a nice day. The customers will protest. <laughs> well, yeah, if you keep robbing the store and stealing the bread, they're gonna get mad because they won't have any bread. Thank you for buying bread and pasta. Have a nice day. <laughs> Knuckles barges in. I heard you had bread. <laughs> oh, that would cost so much collateral damage. Well. I'm like an actual cashier. I was checking my phone. Because, uh, I'm not sure if, like... Because it was choppy before, now it seems to be running at least a little bit smoother. So I was like, okay, I have a message waiting for me. I could check it on my computer, or I could check it on my phone. On the phone would probably be better. So, yeah. I'm living the life. I'm selling people eggs and bread. Although now the pasta seems to be getting pretty popular. Hello, Miss. How you, how's your twin doing? I hope you're both doing well. Thank you for coming to the store and giving us your loyal patron pa pa patronage. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Have a nice day. Let's see if we can get rid of this box. Okay. If someone buys pasta, I can get rid of that box. I see you're baking a cake tonight. Who's it for? Got a special lady friend? Or a man friend? We don't judge. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Wait, did I pay my bills? Okay, all bills are paid. Nice. No bread? Okay. That's fine. Oh, damn. The market price of bread went up drastically. So we're selling it for a steal, but like... Just so we could earn some money for the fridge. Let's raise it up a little bit. Thank you. Have a nice day. Couldn't she couldn't find oil? Well, oil's expensive for me too, ma'am. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> Bread inflation. <laughs> yeah, I mean we're saving up to get. Oh, we could get the. We could get the the research that allow us to buy milk. Thank you, have a nice day! Oh yeah. The customers are moving on from bread and go to pasta. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's how bread economy works. Oh, back again! Nice to see you! Bread! She's buying bread! For, you know, for a second I thought she was gonna clear me out of pasta on that shelf. It's okay, ma'am. I won't tell your husband you're eating a lot of carbs. Your secret's safe with me! Have a nice day! Oh yeah, I have... more bag of pasta. 
And I can toss out the box. Back again? You must really love bread and pasta. I mean, your patronage is always appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. But yeah, I think they're getting bored of the bread, guys. They're not buying as much bread as they used to. Unless that's a twin. I mean, they all look alike. I'm just having fun. I'm being silly. <laughs> Make a sale. Uh, okay, I'll lower the bread. Uh, 225. It'll still help, help us make a profit. Still a steal compared to my competitors. And it'll help us get money so we can get a fridge. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice night. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Thank you for buying bread. Can't they? They're not buying as much bread anymore. I can't believe they're not buying as much bread. It's such good bread. Oh, that guy's. Please buy some bread. It's very strong walk he has. Please buy some bread. He's buying eggs. Bought just one thing of eggs! The bread was right there! He's buying bread! Man, it is so thank you for buying bread! Oh my god, he's buying so much bread! Two, three, four, five. Five loaves of bread, thank you! Couldn't find the peanut butter. I'm working on it! <sighs> Maybe he needs a lot of bread. Well, yeah. He might have a lot more bread. Yeah, we have so much bread now. And no one's buying the bread. We need to sell more bread! I need to make money for that fridge! We need more money for that fridge. We're gonna do park. Can I sit on the hydrant? I can kind of. Sit. Well, I'm hot. Maybe the hydrant just has a. No, that, no. I, I was being crazy. Well, I'm definitely higher. Yeah, I was definitely higher. So just, I guess it just has an invisible box around it. Oh, can I stand on the bike lane sign? Can I stand on the bike lane sign? No, that's too big of a leap. I definitely can't get there. <laughs> Good lord, Frainer, what did you just type? <laughs> Beware the lair, Red Wolf. Doesn't come back and steal your leftover stock while the store is closed. Woo! <laughs> I'm on the s <laughs> I'm on the bike lane side. <laughs> nice. Look how tall I am. I'm so tall and powerful. It feels so nice being this tall. This is... this is nice. <laughs> Congrats, you're one step closer to going through an obby. What's an obby? Okay, let's pay the bills. Uh, let's see. We can, get, we can get coffee. Uh, That one guy was looking for peanut butter, but peanut butter is kind of expensive. Coffee is also expensive. Well, I'll just go course. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I'm hiccuping a lot today. I don't like it. A flower got a little bit expensive. 
And the unit price is also dropping, so we're gonna have to charge less for flour. Hmm. Oh. We're at uh, three cents of above market price. Hmm. Uh, we need we need to put water in the fridge. We can't get a fridge yet. Huh. It's so hard. I have so much conflict in my soul. All right, so we could we could get like a case of water and then get a fridge. So let's see how much that would come out to. Come out to. We could do that, but then again, how much is milk? Milk is cheaper than water. Well, it's not a bag, but we can get ourselves some milk. Oh, no. Would it cost too much to get peanut? Actually, no, we can afford milk, peanut butter, and a fridge. Cheaper than water. Yeah, water is better for the human body. Yeah. Maybe people will buy more bread if they had some peanut butter to go with it. Let me move the eggs so I could just pretend that they're refrigerated if I put them next to the fridge. Uh, like, can I put the eggs in the fridge? It needs to be on a rack. God damn it. You're messing with my immersion game. <sighs> Must be them special eggs that you don't need to refrigerate. It's fine, though. It's okay. It's whatever. Not really to me, but... Oh. I, I, I want to get more, more milk. So we could put some milk inside a bag, which is full of milk. <laughs> Um, let's, let's just, let's just put it at three. You know, fair price, but still below the current market price. And, uh, peanut butter is currently six forty nine, So let's do five bucks. Because we definitely got to make our money back from that fridge. We want to buy more milk. Uh, flour. Let's just, let's leave flour at it as is. We only have three bags. This ain't Canada. <laughs> yeah. If anything, this isn't Canada. This is definitely somewhere in New York. Just look at the brownstones. Look at the ACs on the windowsills. Look at the crappy fire escapes. Look at the trash. This is definitely York. Look at those little alley full of trash. <laughs> I'm the trash man. Hello, welcome to the store. Please buy some bread. Oh, she's buy she bought a single thing of peanut butter. Okay, that's fine, too. You probably have enough bread at home. Thank you. Have a nice day. No one's buying bread. The bread's so good, though. Huh. And I hope someone buys milk to justify the fact that I bought I bought a fucking fridge. Huh. Oh, she's probably buying eggs or flour. Oh, buying flour, okay. Probably making your own bread at home. You probably don't care much for store bought bread. Thank you, have a nice day. It's the call to sec from Ed and Eddie. <laughs> Although you'd have to like airdrop yourself into this one. Unless there's like... Like unless the buildings have like another entrance or like a different street. And then this is just like the back streets. But it's not so much of a back street as it is a back road. Or a patch of road. 
So, like, maybe this used to be, like, an actual road that you could travel on, but then someone built an apartment. Or, like, a con Well, realistically, it would be a condo. If this is York. They were to- e I hope you have some nice peanut butter sandwiches. I don't know if you have jelly at home. I don't know if you like jelly. Thank you very much! Thank you for buying peanut butter and milk. Uh, you are going to listen to the radio. You're going to be asked a question about Alexander Hamilton. The answer is burr. Thank you. Have a nice day. You also have a nice day. Thank you for buying the milk, even though it's not in a bag. Thank you for buying bread! Why did you pay me with a hundred dollars? Thank you, have a nice day! Sam, don't overthink it. Don't overthink the talent? I'm gonna keep overthinking the talent. We are in the middle of nowhere. And also, I just really like architecture. Of course I'm gonna overthink it. Oh, that guy left his apartment. Oh, she went back to her apartment. <laughs> Take a shot every time since she has this bread in the stream. Oh, your kidneys are gonna not like you in the morning. Unless you drink water. What were you missing? Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't afford flour right now. <laughs> oh, she's back. <laughs> yeah, she came back. I guess she forgot something. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Yeah, they're, they're moving on from bread to pasta. <laughs> Couldn't find cereal. Sorry, I can't afford cereal right now. You think it's expensive for the consumer? It's expensive for me too. Uh, we could get some water for the fridge. I'd, I think I'd rather get milk. Uh... Sam's pasta castle. Sam's Pasta Palace! Well, that is a nice ring to me. You always gotta go with alliteration when you can. Thank you, have a nice day! Gotta buy more pasta. These people are eating up pasta like no tomorrow. What else can I buy? Um, I can, I can get snack cakes. Well, if that's a bit too expensive for me right now, let me ring this woman up. Thank you. Thank you, have a nice day. Good. Oh, I, I ran out of milk. They want more milk. And we're almost out of peanut butter too, damn. People are hungry for the new products today. He bought bread, thank you very much. Thank you very much, have a nice day. Oh wow, we're almost out of everything except for bread. And look at the boxes! <laughs> oh boy! Alright, well this isn't bread, but hopefully people will flock to it. Alright, let's put a price on it. Uh, we'll charge three forty-five, Because we gotta earn our money back from... From the fridge. The purchase of the fridge. Uh, we're out of peanut butter. Perfect. I could put, I could put the cookies over here. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll be right with you. I'll ring you up in a jiff. Sorry, we normally don't have this much of a line. I am the only employee here. Couldn't find eggs. Sorry, I ran out of eggs! Someone bought them before you! You should've come earlier! 40, 50. Thank you very much. Sorry. I ran out of peanut butter! I'm sorry! Oh, that's a lot of cookies. Don't worry, I won't tell your husband that you're cheating on your diet. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Let me turn on the light. Sorry, you guys to the shop in the dark. I'm the only one here. 
Sam passed the gulag. <laughs> Why a gulag? Oh, damn. She bought a lot of cookies. And bread. Thank you for buying bread and cookies. That's a lot of carbs. But I don't blame you. Carbs are delicious. Thank you so much. Have a nice night. Thank you so much. Have a nice night. Uh, does this have cop? I'm not sure. Maybe the... Maybe that's a feature. Again, the full game still needs to cook, because it's an early access, so... Who knows? Maybe... Maybe they have, like, a suggestion form where you can suggest ideas. I mean, that'd be interesting. So, like, someone could be restocking the milk fridge, someone could be at the register. Like, that makes for a lot of good co-op opportunities. Um, but I am not sure. I've only seen this game being played with, like, you know, one person at the helm. Oh, thank you for buying milk! But also, I need to restock the rest of the milk. Thank you. Four four things of milk. Thank you, I'll be with you in a second. Damn, she got a lot! Remember when you used to get that many groceries for that much? Uh, thank you so much. Have a nice night. Why did you... Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother. Just... Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Yeah, look down at your feet in shame. Have a nice night. Well, I'm almost out of breath. <laughs> what was the day of a reaction to Hold on, did I pay my bills? Shit, I'm forgetting to pay my bills. No, I didn't mean to. All bills are paid, thank goodness. All right, we, we desperately need to restock. People have bought everything but bread for a while, and, you know, bread has made a resurgence. Uh, so we need to restock accordingly. Oh, boy. All right, rent bill paid. Um, we're running out of bread for the first time in a while. Uh... <laughs> Meanwhile, on Sesame Street, the new word of the day is pasta because people are tired of bread. Y yeah, I, I guess you're right, Elmo. Well, peanut butter got expensive. Um, I'm not gonna have enough space in that fridge for water and milk. Uh, hmm. But yeah, that. I could get another thing of cookies. I wish there was like, you know, those like metal racks. That sometimes you'll see by the register that's made for like impulse buys. You know, just very like small things that you probably shouldn't buy, but like you, you want to anyway because you see it and it's nice and cheap and small. Like a nice little rack like that in that position. That'd be really good for hanging things like chips and, and bags of candy. If, if the developers have like a suggestion form, I might just like go knock it on their forum store and be like, Hi, I have suggestions. Yeah, like a nice little like metal rack like right here and you go clip bags of candy and like other small knickknacks there's like the robot saying well this game is making me hungry this game is making me think of like business tactics that's what simulation games do to me because i'm just that kind of person 
Like, I was always the kind of kid, whenever there was, like, the movie coming out, it's like, oh, I want to do something related to the movie. I will make an art piece related to the movie, or I will do a thing related to this movie that is coming out, or whatever. I, I was a nerd. I was, that was, that was a weird child. Oh, and that's too much money. Ah. Uh, I guess we could forego the, the cookies for now. Yeah. Because I wanna, you know, we were, we started out as a bread and egg store. What kind of bread and egg store would we be if we didn't have eggs? All right. People seem to really love our pasta. Alrighty, so... So we have that, and then we'll just put bread here. It's a shame that people have moved on from bread to pasta. You know, I miss the good old days where we were just a simple bread and egg store. You know, one day I'd like to expand to coffee. Just have, just, I'll just be a breakfast store. I can have bread and cheese and eggs and coffee and orange juice. It'll be wonderful. But alas, we are a fledgling store. And not many people just want to buy bread. Not anymore. Oh, those were the days. But we'll be fine. We'll adapt. We'll keep moving forward. And, you know, our customer base of... People who love bu who love buying and eating bread will come back. Can I afford milk? I can afford milk. Nice. There's one more thing in milk for the road. Alrighty. It's juice and jam time. Except we don't have any juice or jam. Pasta is just the evolution of bread. Those fools don't even realize. Yeah. Maybe we're not so much a bread store as much as we are a wheat product store. Because, like, pasta is made of wheat. Bread is made of wheat. These prairie cakes are probably made of wheat. The only things not made of wheat but go well with wheat are the flour. That Well, no, we don't have any flour right now. <laughs> the only things that are not made of wheat are the eggs and the milk. But they go very well with wheat. They can even help you make your own wheat product, such as bread. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Sorry, I can't afford cereal right now. But have a nice day. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> Sam's Carb Shake. We won't tell your husband you shop here. <laughs> I'll be the I'll <laughs> I'll be the Carba Cabana. <laughs> oh, thank you for buying so much bread. I really appreciate it. I hope you like the bread. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, he he's he loaded up on the bread. Thank you. I hope you make yourself some nice sandwiches or like some if you want some french toast. We have eggs. You could get some eggs. Make yourself some nice french toast unless you have eggs at your house. You know, not judging. Thank you so much for shopping. Have a nice day. Pasta's too expensive for her. Oh, she's leaving! No! I'm so oh, she's buying milk. Never mind. Thank you for buying milk. Sorry the pasta was kind of expensive for you. But, you know, economies. Thank you so much. You have a nice day. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. How much milk do you need? Depends on, I don't know, how much milk do you typically drink? She might have a big household, and this is the only size milk we currently carry. 
I'm sorry, I can't afford kit. I could probably afford candy right now, actually. I'd rather get, I think I'd rather get flour, though. Have some cohesion on the shelves. I'll be with you in just a second. I'll leave you in just a second, sorry. Thank you. Thank you so much, have a nice day. You were looking down at your feet, you're probably gonna- Okay, you're not paying an egregious amount, thank you. I thought you were gonna give me like a hundred dollars or something. Thank you so much, have a nice day. Thank you for paying a normal amount of money. Thank you for buying bread. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, do I have any more bills? Thank you for reminding me, all bills are paid. Yay! <laughs> Why is Sam Chips to get into a Brooklyn accent? My accent kind of changes randomly. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the way my braid is wired. It's been a thing for a while. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I can't afford oil right now. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. I'm sorry, I can't afford peanut butter right now. Turn the light. Can I afford peanut butter right now? Bam, peanut butter's expensive. Hmm. Uh, what can I get? I could get more eggs. I think I'm running a lot on eggs. Some make it look cute, but, but, some make it look cute, but think it, it's, but think it's to keep you on your toes. You never know what Sam's gonna do. Huh. Ah, it's cozy. Supermarket election bread versus pasta. I mean, they're both carbolicious, so. Dude. Yeah, just out of spite, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take any suggestion. I can't hold? God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm oh, there's a line. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a do You're lucky there's a line. I'm just gonna give you a dollar and pennies. Well, that's too much. A dollar fifty and pennies for you. The person who's forcing me to make this much change. Have a nice day. Seriously, you two? Yeah, you better look down at the floor in shame. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank you so much! Have a nice day! I hate that you can't just like hold the button and then just, you know, just have a whole row of change just like popping out the register. That'd be hilarious. No, I gotta just, I, I gotta click it constantly. Have fun, go key someone's car. Thank you so much for not having me make change. Have a nice day. Thank you for buying bread! Have a nice night!
the Great Card Peace Treaty. You think they'll have a credit credit card reader in this game? Probably would make transactions too easy. They actually do have an option for a credit card reader. It's just not in this version of the game, I don't think, because it's just the free version. Because um, right now the full version is not in my budget. Like, especially because I have to sort out my whole internet thing. Because, uh, the price is going up and they don't offer any discounts right now. That's, uh, it's gonna be painful. Sorry, I can't get the peanut butter right now! It's too late. They're not gonna allow me to make deliveries past nine. I'm sorry! I'm gonna get an- oh, they're- wow, I'm almost out of milk. <laughs> I guess you say, oh, he needs some milk! Uh -huh, okay, those are paid. We need milk. Uh, could we afford it? Let's, let's put a fridge in the cart. Pretend we're gonna buy it. See what happens, because we need to restock on everything else. Uh, but yeah, so there's the the credit card reader is probably in the full version of the game because I've seen people in other Let's Plays use the credit card reader before. Um, yeah, but I don't think it's in this version because it is the free version, uh, yeah, the prologue, as it were. But it's still fun. Like I'm getting a good idea of what the actual game is like. But the base game, not the base game. I'm talking about it like it's DLC. Uh, the full game. It's an early access, needs more time to cook. But it seems like they have some good features in it right now. I've seen like little bits and pieces of it, but this this will give you a good enough idea of what the game is like, and it's free. So that's nice. Oh, that's too expensive. Uh yeah, we're we're not gonna be able to afford a second fridge for water now. Um so milk. You get like a hundred more dollars or so worth of more. So we need flour. Definitely need flour. We also could get cookies. Uh, two boxes, two boxes of cookies. Uh, oh, I've reached my my limit. Shit. Oh yeah, because I ordered uh. I'm a bit. We can order two cases of eggs and then two cases of cookies. And all the boxes are scattered. Okay, that that's fine. Well, hopefully the eggs didn't crack in shipping. I don't know. This game is just kind of very zen and relaxing, but I also just love business simulators. They spark my imagination. Box right there. We need some... Oh. We need some milk. Oh yeah, playing supermarket is nice. But yeah, how how are you guys doing tonight? Anything exciting? Are you hungry? Why <laughs> you go to a store that only sells bread? have 660 to our name. Let's open up shop. 
I'm stuffing my face with pizza, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, it's a bakery called it's a bakery called Sam. Ah. Almost got pizza outside today. But I think I'll make myself a French bread pizza for dinners. You can't go wrong with baguette pizza. It's very nice. Oh, that's too much money. For a second, I read the total as the amount of change she needed back. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. She's buying bread. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Sorry you couldn't find oil. I'm working on it, though. I'm working on it. I, need, I also need more shelf space, but thank you. Uh... You're gonna get pennies. I hope you know that, lady. <laughs> Have a nice day. I'm sorry, I'm working on it. Thank you, have a nice day. Oh, I'm sorry, pasta so Oh, yeah, someone complained that pasta was too expensive, like, the other day. Uh, oh, damn, market price went down a lot. Ah, uh, it will be nice. Our pasta could be 330 we're still making a profit. Uh, oh, we still we can restock the eggs after he's done. Oh, this place is full. Okay, you go back in the corner. Paying customers and pennies. <laughs> Truly, there is no greater evil. Believe me, if I could just, like, click and then just, like, change could just pour out of the register every time I have to make a ludicrous amount of change, I would do that. But alas, I cannot. That is not a feature at this point. Oh, too much money. Uh... Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Threatening customers with pennies. <laughs> Only the ones that pay me in a ludicrous amount where I have to make a ludicrous amount of change. That's the punishment. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Sorry, you can't find bottled water. I'm working on it. I need another fridge. <laughs> and a barber said, my little brother wants me to make some jewelry for him, so later I'll be make so I'll be making rings soon. Nice. I'd love to learn how to make jewelry. Like, if I had the space, like I would just have like a little workshop where I could just like do all of my hobbies that require a workshop setting to do. Cause like I would love to get into metalworking. Cause um like, there are certain cans that you could redeem and get, like, five cents for each can. But then there are some cans that are not marked for redemption. So then it's like, okay, well, I could toss this in the regular recycling. Or I could try to do something with it to upcycle it. But what I would love to do is that, like, I've seen videos of, like, people melting down the cans in their backyard. But that's just the thing. They're melting down the cans in their backyard. I don't have a yard. I don't have an open space that has ventilation. So if I do that indoors, I'm gonna kill myself. All in the name of recycling, but yeah. Like, it's crazy what people will do. And then, what really got me into it was that there was this YouTube channel. I'm not sure if he he's probably still active, I just haven't watched him in forever. But it's called Cody's Lab. And he did all these crazy experiments with, like, metals. And trying to, like, remove the gold from antiques. And, 
like trying to get silver out of antiques and stuff. It was really interesting. And it just, it just made me fall in love with like, oh, okay, I, I need to learn to metal work. I want to learn to do cool stuff. Uh, but I, it's just a matter of I, I literally don't have the space. I don't have the space and I don't have the ventilation, even if I did have the space. So, uh, yeah, that sucks. I can't get into metal working or anything. And then I met w someone once um, that ma he made guitars for a living. And it was really cool and really interesting hearing how he would make these guitars and other instruments. And I told him, like, you know, I would love to get into metalworking and, like, all this craft stuff that you do, but I literally don't have the space. And I don't have the ventilation. <laughs> and I think he felt sorry for me. <laughs> um, but then I was showing him, like, because, uh, again, I had gotten really invested in this whole, like, if I could do it, I could melt down metal cans and I could make stuff with metal and it would be awesome. And I showed him my, like, designs that I had drafted for, like, jewelry. Um, like, pendants in particular. Because I, I had, like, rulers at the time that I could draw perfect circles with. So I drew, like, pendant designs. He was like, oh, these are very nice. And I'm like, thank you so much. And, yeah, it was really cool. He was a nice dude. I just kind of lost contact with him. Oh, I'm out of bread! I'm out of bread for the first time I'm out of bread! But, yeah, I don't know. Like, there are just certain hobbies that it's like, I would love to do this thing, I just can't, because if I try it now, it will kill me. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I, I, just, I just love, like, working with stuff, especially, like, working with recycled materials. Darn it, did I order? I, I think I ordered. Okay. And it's all over the floor. Okay, that's fine. We need bread! Um, what other recycled materials? Um, hi, cat. Hi. Welcome back, cat. But yeah, what other recycled materials? Oh, yeah. There's also this other channel called Brothers Make. Um, where they work with recycled plastic. And how they melt down their plastic is that they... They have a couple methods for melting down plastic. They have, like, you know, the industrial equipment, of course. They have extruders and molds and all that. Um, but they've also melted down plastic with, like, panini presses and Teflon sheets. Uh, I I'm sorry I'm paying you in pennies. I was- Ow! Cat! That was rude of you. But yeah, like- there are so many ways that they melt down plastic, and then they just test all the ways, like, you could, like, use recycled plastic, and it's awesome. And it's like, I would love to do that, but again, it's a matter of not having good enough ventilation. And, um, they did one video when they were using the panini press to melt down the plastic. They hooked it up to, like, a solar panel, like, a portable solar panel. Um, and that was really cool. But again, I can't do that. And it sucks, because it's like... Huh, like, it'd be cool to, like, just melt down bottle caps and then just make stuff with it. I could make, like, pens. I could make little plastic organizers. I could make plastic chaos emeralds. You know, it could be cool. Like, there's a lot that you could do with plastic materials. Like, recycled materials, not plastic materials, like, just recycled materials in general. Like, like, currently the only recycled material or upcycled material that I can really consistently work with is fabric. Because, one... I have a lot of fabric. Two, my mom always seems to, excuse me, my mom always seems to be like outgrowing in, like outgrowing clothes. And it's like, yeah, these don't fit or I don't like them anymore. Do you want them? And I'm always like, yes, give them to me because I can make stuff with them. And yeah, but I love working with recycled materials. Like if you can work with materials that already exist and they can still be very strong and very much loved materials for some other project, then that, that's awesome. That, that's, I really like that about like sustainable design. It's just design in general. Hi, cat. Hi. She's finally on my lap. After all this time, it's two hours in a stream, cat. You're on my lap for the first time. Hi. That's expensive ass coffee. It's ten bucks a bag. You know we're we're gonna be fair. We're gonna price it at nine ninety nine. 
was ten dollars for a pack of coffee. Ten, like over ten dollars for a, ten dollars for an ice for a pack of coffee. That's ass pull. Hey, I think I can make it eight bucks instead. Still looks fit. Hmm. Well, we need to pay ourselves back. Maybe eight fifty be a little bit more fair. Eight fifty nine. Hello, cat. You know, I wonder, like, if, if cat food becomes an option that you, like, you could sell at the store. That'd be funny. Cat. Stop drinking my tea, you're a cat. Eight fifty nine and a half. <laughs> Hence a pocket lens. Uh, does everything have a price? Everything has a price. Cool. And all the milk's in the fridge. There's nothing outside. Alrighty. We... Did I pay my bills? All bills are paid. Yay! Alright. Uh, bill. Bill. Huzzah for adulting. Yay! Adulting! We definitely need more shelves, though. We need another fridge for water. Uh, you know, I think they're kind of outgrowing the pasta, too, now. That's a shame. Uh, let's get some candy. Let's get some... They keep, they keep complaining they can't find oil. Oil's really expensive right now. Um... Hmm. No expense. And pasta is like the cheapest thing I can get, but I already have enough pasta. I mean, some would argue you could never have too much pasta. But still. It's different It's different when, you know, they don't have pasta on their shelves. And the cat's... I'll see you later, cat. Thank you for joining me on my lap. It was very nice of you. I enjoyed your company. Um, I, th I think I could afford, like, a box of peanut butter. We have 669. <laughs> nice, we have that much to our name. Uh, I have nowhere to put the candy. Okay, that that's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it in the corner. It'll it'll be fine in the corner. It'll be fine in the corner. Just someone's got to clear out the flour or the pasta. It's got to be either or. I'd rather have candy on a on a shelf that's a little bit higher up, so that way, uh, the seagulls don't get it. All right. Uh, with six sixty nine to our name, let's open up shop, and hope that we can earn our money back. Oh, wow, that's a lot of peanut butter. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have I say sorry? You can't find the water. I'm trying to earn money to get another fridge. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. <laughs> Imagine if the dude just walked out. Um... Like, I've read that there's supposed to be, like, thieves and, like, other security-type stuff implemented in the full game. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it'll be possible one day. Couldn't find candy. I have candy! It's just in a box! I'm sorry! Buy something on the shelves first! 
Okay, I've cleared- he, that guy cleared me out of flower, now I can put candy on the shelves. Oh, I can put candy on this shelf, but then... That's gonna be next to the pasta, and it's gonna mess with me. Okay, I'll, I'll put it on the bottom shelf, because uh, if I put it on the, on the shelf next to the pasta, it's gonna bug me that they're not the same. I'll put this box over here. Uh, candy. Uh... Three bucks. Not too much of a profit margin, but it'll hopefully get people through the door. Sorry, I'm restocking the shelves. Everyone seems to want candy and bottled water that I don't have because I don't have a fridge just for the water. I'll be right with you. Sorry about the wait. Sorry, but you can't find bottled water, I just said! Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Oh, did that guy just... Did, did that guy just leave and come back? Okay. He bought bread. He forgot bread. As much as I appreciate your patronage... You're getting pennies. I hope you know that. If I could give you more pennies just by holding the button, I would. This is torturing me as much as it's torturing you, man. Oh my god, it's Trevor from GTA 5. I've never played GTA 5 before. <laughs> Gary says just steal a fridge. I wish I could! I mean, the like the town map looks very New Yorkish. I'm surprised there's not just a fridge for the gra for like grabs outside. Okay, you're lucky there's a line and that I feel somewhat nice. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you for paying me a human amount of money. Look down at the floor in shame. Think about what you've done. Saints Row is better anyway. I've actually played Saints Row before. I played uh, Saints Row 3. That was actually one of the first games I bought on Steam, actually, because um, a high school friend that I had at the time who told me about Steam and encouraged me to sign up for Steam recommended it to me. And I remember it. It was on sale. And I got it on sale with the DLC. And yeah. But I haven't played that game since high school because I never had a good enough computer to run it. And even when I ran it the first time, uh, there were graphical glitches galore, man. So many missing textures. It was a miracle that my laptop at the time didn't explode. But I was in high school, I didn't know any better. Thank you so much. Well, maybe if you came here earlier, you would have found I'm sorry! Thank you so much. I'm sorry I can't afford oil right now! Oh, Saints Row 3 is great. Yeah, what I would do in Saints Row 3 is that, um... Okay, so whenever I play a game where you have a lot of character customization, I have a rule. I want to pick the girliest outfit possible and then just do all kinds of shenanigans while in the girliest outfit possible. And, yeah, so what I did in Saints Row 3, I think the, like, the most frilly outfit they had was like a drindle, like a German drindle. So I wore the drindle, and then with the DLC there was that tentacle gun. And I just shot things with the tentacle gun. And then, of course, there's the silicone sculpture bat. The third actually got a remaster. Ah! I haven't heard about it. But again, I haven't played Saints Row 3 in... since high school, since I was a youth. I should give it a shot. I should give it a shot again at some point or another. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice to see if I could, like, run the game again. Um, what I also did is that I love games with, like, debug modes and cheats, too. So what I would do is I would I would turn on the Immortal uh, cheat and then just do shenanigans. Oh, I gotta turn on the light. Sorry about the light. I'm gonna turn on the light real quick so you're not shopping in the dark. So sorry for the inconvenience. 
Making some frittatas. Sorry, I don't have flour right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, from what I heard, the PC versions of Saints Row 1 and 2 suck. I've only ever played 3, so I don't quite have an attachment to the other two. And the only other thing I know about the Saints Row franchise is that it got taken over by people who had agendas and made the game weird. But that's all I've really kept up with the series about, so, uh, yeah. Alright, we can order some stuff. We still will be... Hmm. I want to get flour again, but I also I need to get more space. Everyone wants bottled water. I don't have a fridge. <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard being a business owner. Alright, how about we order one fridge and one case of water? Thank you. You really like candy. And pasta. Thank you so much. Have a nice night. Sorry you can't find oil. I can't afford oil right now. But yeah, you have a nice night. Enjoy the pasta. And the candy. Um... Oh, there was nothing in this box. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm blocking your way, ma'am. Just by bread. <laughs> I can't just buy bread. They haven't touched the bread in a bit. And plus... Oh, yeah. I have a... I have a fridge waiting for me outside. I have a fridge and water. I'll be with you in just a sec. Look at this knockoff Evian. <laughs> I think that's parodying one, parodying one of the old logos too. Thank you so much. There's literally right there! I needed time to stock it! And on the... Uh, Audacity. OBS gave out. That's odd. And it's back again. Okay, that is the second time that OBS has uh, just conked out randomly. That is weird. Today is kind of a weird day. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, finished day. Let me actually check. Okay. Still getting weird bitrate warnings every so often. That's really weird. Yeah, that's that's really weird. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> Finally something to quench your customer thirst. Yeah. Alright, so, how do we organize these shelves? You don't really need bread. I mean, we always need bread, but no one's really been touching the bread for a while, and I need more shelf space. But if I buy a shelf right now, I'm not going to be able to afford to restock anything else. Um, hmm. Oh, damn it, I could have used that box to restock. <laughs> it's so hard. I just want to make the shelves look nice. But it is space and monies. That is preventing me from decorating the way I would like. Huh. Aside from just milk anyways. Yeah. I can't help it. I just... Milk is nice. And also it's cheap. Milk's cheap to get right now. So you gotta capitalize on the milk market. But yeah. <laughs> This is what simulation games do to me. They, like, mm, I, I feel like I could have a business degree just based on on what I'm playing. It's a nice feeling to have. Um, yeah. It's fun, though. Um, what else do we need? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we need eggs. 
Uh, we gotta get flour. Cost of shipping, it's gonna leave us with 45 ish bucks. Hmm. Now if, if oil weren't that much, then we could get some oil. But oil's kind of a lot right now. I don't know why it's so much. It's like inflation. Why are you following me into fiction? I play fictional things to relax. I'll use the this box for moving the candy so somewhere that's not the floor. Because I don't want it to be on the floor. I want it to be on a higher shelf, but it's like, again, for small rinky-dink things like that, like the bags of candy, I would love a rack that I could just stick them on. I could stick them by the register. Well, nice three lovers saying, I have to get up early tomorrow. Time to call it a night. Bye. Bye. I hope you have a nice sleep. I would say thank you for buying bread. But at that point, it's just a reflex. <laughs> oh, I almost threw some valuable eggs out. How dare I? All right, that's all the milk. We have a fridge full of milk and we're gonna have a fridge full of water. Fridge full of water. If I could get some butter, I'd put the milk with the butter. Pasta on the floor. My floor shelf. Alrighty, all the bills have been paid. Oh yeah, I still have this thing of eggs. You sit right there. All bills are paid. Dr. Rob was saying, I think I'll, I think I'll go to bed soon. I have an appointment, I have an appointment call tomorrow. Hope you have, you have a nice dream. Also, huh, okay. Well, you also have a good night. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's winding down. I'm coming up on two and a half hours. So maybe I'll do just like one or two more days in game. And I think I'll call it a night myself. Make myself some French bread pizza. I don't know how to rate this setup. It's kind of cute, but also desk in a corner doesn't have a chair. It's so so lonely. You look so lonely. But yeah, it seems like it's running a little bit better overall. Oh, no, I guess you sent me uh, something related to the like. Thank you. I'll check that out. Because I don't know why it's lagging tonight in particular. It's very odd. Well, Adam Barber asking, well, I have a question. Is your pizza going to be plain or will there be toppings? I just like overloading my pizza with cheese. Because I really like cheese. Um, so, yeah. I'll probably do mozzarella. Um, if I had some Romano, I'd put some Romano on there. But I don't have Romano. Um, so I'll just do parm. Uh, mozzarella and parmesan. Some garlic seasoning. Which reminds me, actually. I have to make minced garlic. I haven't made minced garlic in a while. Um, so I have to make minced garlic. Because um, instead of garlic seasoning, what you could also do, you can make minced garlic at home. By just getting whole garlic cloves. Um, and then, you know, you chop them up real nice. You put them in a jar. And then you fill the jar with oil that does not freeze or solidify when it's cold. So you cannot use coconut oil for this task because it's going to turn out disgusting. And you're going to end up scooping it out with an ice cream scoop. 
Um, so what I usually use is like canola oil or a little vegetable oil. You could also use olive oil as well. I don't think olive oil freezes when it or like solidifies when it gets cold. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. That's how I make the minced garlic oil. It lasts for a while, I would say, though. Use it up within a month or two, just to be safe. Because anything beyond that, it's going to turn more and more orange and turn more and more dark as the time goes by. And it's going to smell really pungent. And it's going to get really weird. So use up the garlic oil within a month or two for safety purposes. Um, yeah. But it's really good. It's a lot cheaper than, like, getting, like, garlic in oil or water at the store. At least for me. And plus, I enjoy making it. It's it's very time-consuming, unfortunately. You can make the work a little bit shorter and not as much of a pain in the butt if you get garlic cloves that are already peeled, but sometimes those are more expensive. And sometimes those will also come in their own jar, and then you can reuse the jar. Whenever I get food in a jar, I, I usually keep the jar for, um, for crafts, for storage. Um, I have a jar dedicated to being a mouse cage because my cat does not kill mice that wander into the apartment. Instead, she brings them to me. And then I have to be like, okay, we have a pet mouse for the next couple hours until I could release them in a park or other wooded area. So, um, so yeah, I, I usually keep the jars and stuff. But um, for best results for long-term food storage, I always recommend glass or stainless steel. I don't use plastic for storage unless it's like dry goods or unless it's going in the freezer. But make sure the plastic is freezer safe at that point. Um... But yeah, for anything hot, stainless steel or glass all the way. And he... But that's just my experience. And I guess... <laughs> this has turned into food storage tips. So, we've restocked a bit. I still have eggs. Um, I feel like I could get one more thing, but also I, I need more shelf space to satiate my OCD. <laughs> um... But yeah, so after this day, going to take a little bit of a break and then maybe do like a day or two more and then I'll call it a stream. But yeah, I'm going, I'm, do, I'm doing the two and a half hour mark again. But yeah, it's like, so far my experience with streaming is like, I get very nervous, like starting and setting up. But then it's like, you know, once you start, it's, it, it just becomes natural. It's just like talking to one of your friends. And just, like, talking into the universe. It's very nice and relaxing in that way. And I've wanted to stream for so long, it's like, oh my god, I'm finally doing the thing. And I was encouraged to do the thing by people who actually like me. And and all that. So it's like, oh my god, support? Friendship? And, and all that. So it, it's, it's very nice. It has been very nice so far. I've also poked my head into a lot of servers for VTubers specifically. And those are all, those have also been places of support and people being nice and respectful and giving advice. And it's like, oh my god! Like, I don't know. Like, I think some people get into streaming because they want to try to make, like, old YouTube money. Like, you know, when everyone was getting monetized back in, like, the 2010s. Or when people on YouTube were, like, getting movies on Netflix just willy-nilly, just, like, left and right. Uh, but it's like, no, I'm just happy to be here. Like, if this can become a career that's monetizable, that's that's all well and good. That would actually do a lot for me, actually. But, like, that's going to take time. Um, it's going to take me, like, investing in myself. Um, it's going to take people investing in me. Like, you know, that kind of thing. Like, it, it takes time. So, like, my attitude about it is like, I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to do stuff and things. Yeah, I don't know. It's just cool. You're getting pennies. Okay, 310. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.
Well, we have some people buying bread. We should probably restock on bread. It's a shame they're not buying as much bread as they used to. We have evolved from a bread and egg store into more of a normal shop. It's kind of sad if you ask me. Thank you so much, have a- Sorry, you bought all the coffee! I, could, I should buy more coffee. Oh, I, I, I pressed add to cart. I didn't press- I didn't press buy. Okay, let me get the register first. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. Have a nice day. Sorry you can't find the peanut butter. It's expensive for me, too. I gotta get more shelf space. Ha! It's expensive. How much is milk? Oh, wow. Price of milk went down by, like, a lot. Uh, you know, let, let's be nice. Milk is two dollars. Making 69 cents profit. But it's okay. We'll find a way to make that money back. Sorry, you found the milk too expensive. If you want to go back now, you can get it. It's fine. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Oh, I'm getting cleared out. I'm getting cleared on the pasta. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, she's like flowers too expensive for her. Uh, I don't think I've, I, I don't think I have the confidence to do the whole online thing. It just makes me nervous and doubt myself. I'll stick to crafting in my garage. I mean, you know, to each their own. Like, I don't know, it's definitely, like, not for everybody. People have their own styles of doing things. Because I'm very much the same way. Like, he, I don't know how to explain it. But, you know, like, everyone's different. Like, at least with, like, the medium of VTubing, it's like, oh, I'm just a cute anime girl doing anime things and playing video games and doing other stuff and talking about life and, you know, handling the cat shenanigans that go on around me. And, and he... But like, you know, like I wouldn't be like, hi guys, welcome to the stream. I'm going to jump off a cliff. Like that wouldn't be me at all. Like, would that be monetizable? Would that get me more views potentially? Probably. But like, it's not my style, so I don't do it. Or like, this is a first person game, but I've acclimated enough to it where I can play it without getting, without getting sick. But, like, a lot of first-person games, especially, like, shooters and all that, I would risk getting a seizure if I played any of those games. So, there are a lot of games that I can't play for health reasons. And also, like, they just aren't my style. So it's like, I don't do that. Would they be trendy? Would they be monetizable? Sure! But it's like, if it's not me, then I'm not gonna do it. So, I don't know. But, like... Yeah, like, to each their own. Like, you just gotta do what's in your comfort zone. Because, like, you can try to push beyond it and, like, give yourself more confidence, like, that way. But then if it's just not authentic to who you are, then what's the point? Oh, crap, what else do we need? Uh, we have plenty of eggs. We we're running out of flour. I need to buy a shelf. Mm. 
I hope you realize that your actions are making these nice people wait in line. I don't care if you're wearing a suit and your hair is all slicked back with like a million pounds of hair gel. Do you realize how torturous this is for me? I'll make it torture for you too so you can learn. You're just lucky I can't hold down a button. And just have all this change coming out of the drawer. Not a penny more for you. Have a... have a day. pounds of hair gel. I don't think next support that much, Sam. I don't know. I don't know. His hair was slicked back. Oh, look at... <laughs> look at that Lee. Hold on. Can I... Oh my god. Can I... Can... Ah! <laughs> I'm standing at the boxes! <laughs> nice. I, I, I love not parkour. Oh, this is so fun. This is so silly. Uh, I, I want to get the full version of the game where I can just jump on things. <laughs> oh, I could jump on so many things. Oh, I could jump on so much. It'd be, it would be wonderful. I definitely have to get the full version, but I'm going to have to wait until it goes on sale. And uh, the, nest, the next Steam sale coming up is uh, an FPS-themed one in, like, two weeks, I think. Because uh, the spring sale just passed. Um, and this was going for, like, ten bucks in the spring sale, but I was like, it's not in my budget currently. Um, and at full price, it's still not in my budget, so I'm gonna have to wait for a sale. So maybe it'll be on sale at the FPS sale? But, uh, who knows? Alrighty. So. Yeah. It's somewhat stocked up. The shelf is empty, though. <laughs> Christmas sale? It'll probably be on sale during the Christmas sale. There are some pretty deep discounts. Like, basically, whenever there's, like, a seasonal sale going on. Um, but, yeah. I'll just have to see. And, like, I think... Because this... The full version of this game just came out. It just came out during the spring sale. So... You know, it's still relatively new. It'll take time for it to go on, like, a really steep discount. But, you know, we'll wait and see. Um, but yeah, even, like, for the free version, like, it gives you a good enough idea of what the full game is like, so that's really cool. However, I will say one criticism that I have currently about the, the prologue version of the game is that this is one save, period. So I had to rewrite my test save, uh, for streaming, but I don't necessarily mind. Um... So I don't necessarily mind starting over, but I wonder if the full game is like that too, or if you could have, like, um, you know, different saves. Like, if you want to make, like, themed stores. Like, if you do just want to have a bread and egg store, or a store that sells only bread. Or if you want to have a dry goods store specifically, or if you want to have a liquor store. Like, that kind of thing. That'd be fun. If you could have different saves and you could do different things in your different saves. Um, but yeah. Like, I'm just grateful I can play this game and not get sick, and I can move as fast or slow as I want, and... Yeah, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll wait for the full version to go on sale. Um, or if I just kind of, like, happen to, like, find extra money in my budget somewhere, then maybe I'll, I'll figure something out. Because, um, if I can, if I can figure out my whole internet provider solution, my internet provider problem, and then I could switch to a provider that's going to save me more money, then I'll have more money in my budget that way. Um... But yeah, generally, I'm just going to wait for a sale for the full version. Um, but yeah, the prologue version is pretty fun, and I'm proud of the thumbnail I made. And yeah. So, you know, we'll just wait and see. And I have a whole lot of other games in my Steam library that could be fun to stream. I have one that I tried testing it out in OBS, 
that's going to have to be a let's play because apparently that game just crashes whenever you try to stream it or record it. Um, yeah, it's uh, but you know, I have st I, I have stuff in mind. I'll I'll figure things out eventually. Well, yeah, I think I might call it a night. I'm gonna make myself a little bit of a late night pizza dinner. Uh, thank you for tuning in and <laughs> watching me succumb to madness. Of just trying to make a bread supermarket and failing because people just resorted to buying pasta instead. And yeah. <laughs> Good job selling bread. Good stream today. Thank you. Oh no, come to think of it. Eddie, you're a chef. You can make artisanal bread. And artisanal pasta and pizza. You have the knowledge. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope everybody has a good night and a good sleep if you're going to sleep now. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Note to self, I should probably make a stream ending screen. I'll probably do that at some point. I just can't think of one. And I don't have the energy to make one because I have a lot of stuff going on right now and a lot of other stuff that I need to make for myself. But thank you. Yeah, pasta and pizza would be bread on bread. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Although that reminds me of the most cursed pizza I've ever seen. Not cursed in the normal sense of we think of cursed when we think of internet stuff. But I mean cursed as in, wow, that actually exists. And cursed as in, wow, that would give me a stomach ache immediately. I, I, I once went to this pizzeria in high school with my, fr my high school friend. One of my high school friends at the time. Because we were allowed to go outside for lunch. And there was a pizzeria close to the school. We go to this pizzeria... Uh, whenever we have some spare pocket money. And then in the pizzeria, they have, you know, the normal pizzas, the grandma pizza, the pizza with a lot of cheese on it, the, you know, the regular pizza, pepperoni slices, you know. All the kit and caboodle of a normal pizzeria. In this pizzeria, they had a pizza with baked penne on top of the pizza. So that was, like, bread on bread on bread right there. It was very heavy. A single slice weighed like three pounds, and my high school friend ate it like no, for, like no tomorrow without any problems. So yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna resort to that level of bread. I don't have the stomach for that much bread, for that much bread on bread on bread. Oh well, yeah, thank you so much. I hope you all have a nice night. I think the cat's coming to say good night as well. Thank you for guesting on the stream, TJ. Your, appear your appearance is always appreciated. Uh, let me check a thing real quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. I wanted I wanted to check it earlier, and then I kept getting distracted by 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 bread in the game. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, thank you, Adam Barber, uh, for. Your lovely contributions and donations on Throne. Uh, I see we're sticking with the bread thing. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm... Wow. Bread? <laughs> I guess... Are you okay? And the cat's really meowing it right now. And I have no idea why. She's probably complaining that we have a lack of bread. But yeah, thank you so much for uh, c contributing to my throne and all the shenanigans thereof. Um, thank you for watching my stream. I hope you all have a nice night. I know this is the third time I'm saying this. I get very distracted very easily. But yeah. I'll say my full name to Kevin I'm sorry, it's just a habit because whatever people like read read comments sometimes like they say them out of context by just reading the text. So it's like I generally like to start by saying people's names first so that way stream doesn't like date itself horribly it makes it sound like i'm out like speaking out of context so it, it, it's just a habit i do that in everybody's streams i just read the name of the person sending the message and then i read the message well yeah thank you so much i hope you all have a nice night and i will see you later um i need to work on some thumbnails but hopefully i could stream some needy streamer overload again because that game is really fun and yeah have a nice night everybody bye